Good day, friends. It's a great privilege coming back to the Bible and Science series. In the previous uh, lectures, I told you that science is made up of unestablished theories and established facts. And I emphasize the fact that an unestablished theory, since it is unestablished, it cannot be used for any kind of argument against anything. And therefore, no unestablished theory is acceptable when it comes to discussing Bible, science or any other subject. When it comes to established facts, I had reminded you that no established fact of science has ever contradicted the Bible. Now, there are some atheists who are uh, Big Bang specialists, uh, uh, specialists in inverted commas because uh, um, nobody knows whether they really understand Big Bang or not. And the way they talk about Big Bang, it seems that they do not understand it. They have been claiming that Big Bang disproves the Bible. They just say Big Bang, Big Bang. They never mention the whole name. The whole name is Big Bang Theory. Since it is a theory, it is an unestablished thing. It cannot be used against the Bible. Anyway, based upon Big Bang Theory, many of them have been claiming that the Earth and the universe is billions of years ago. When I was in school, they used to claim that the universe is 4.5 billion years old. That eventually became 5 billion, 10 billion, 20 billion, now 45 billion. And very soon it will be 50 billion or even 100 billion. Please remember, facts do not change. Facts do not change. But for the last 60 years, the, the presumed age of the universe has been changing. That shows that the presumed age is only presumed, not a fact of science. Yesterday, the scientific media reported a very interesting discovery. And the discovery is that time breaks down at quantum scale. We all know that quantum physics is a very cutting edge area of physics, very, very cutting area edge area of physics. And before I go further, let me tell you that my PhD research was in quantum nuclear physics. So this is my home territory. And I Read this subject the way you speak your mother tongue. So the latest discovery says that time breaks down at quantum scale. New scientific discovery. It is not a scientific theory. It is a discovery. It shocks physicists. It redefines the laws of the universe. All these people who are clamoring to prove that the universe is 45 billion years old, they should Pause. Understand that science, even today, science does not understand the full nature of time. And more and more discoveries are coming up. Two discoveries came this week. I'll mention only one in this lecture so as not to make it too science heavy. Sci time breaks down at quantum scale means that what looks like billions of years might be only a few thousands or tens of thousands of years. You may say universe is a mega stuff. Quantum is a micro stuff. Yes, but the forthcoming unification of quantum physics with gravitational physics will change everything. Even the difference of mega and micro is going to vanish. So all these people who invoke the name of Big Bang Theory, Age of the Universe. Let me tell you, they are actually blind people who went to see an elephant and each person claims that he knows the truth or that what he has is the truth. That is not true. I will mention the other discovery about time in another video. But let me tell you, a plain reading of the Bible shows that the universe is 10,000 or less years old. As more and more discoveries come up, 
it becomes very clear that there is no reason to suspect what the Bible says, that the universe is relatively young. It was good sharing this information with you. I go through all the latest scientific journals, cutting edge research, so that I can bring the latest news in Bible and science to you. It is a lot of hard work, first of all reading them, and then to translate it into layman's language. And therefore, I need help from you. Under this video, there is a thumbs up sign. Please click it. Please record a like. It helps us in many ways. Also, there is a share button. Please share this video. And finally, if you are not a subscriber of this channel, make sure that you do not miss any of our precious videos. Please click the subscribe button. And also, if you see a bell icon, please click the bell icon because that is the current protocol for subscribing. Friends, it takes a lot of effort to go through the latest cutting edge discoveries of science and then to put it in layman's language. We need your encouragement. God bless you.